Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video in which we will be talking about a rather controversial topic, the World of Warships Aim Assist mod. Now of course this game we're seeing right here isn't World of Warships, it is a, in fact Battle Stations Midway, but it is relevant to the subject. A long time ago, I used to play Battle Stations Midway almost every single day. Whenever there was anyone online, I would play against them. And I really enjoyed this game. But there's one thing that really kept frustrating me about it. And uh, it's in play right here. You're seeing that I have to aim ahead of the ships. These little chest Clemson class destroyers. You had to manually aim. And occasionally that would lead to some pretty annoying things happening. Now, here at close range, it's basically impossible to miss. <laughs> that Clemson there just got completely destroyed. But at longer ranges, manual aiming was a little harder. Well, I say a little, I mean much harder. That salvo there completely missed that Northampton class cruiser. Completely missed. And that was because I was leading just a little too far ahead and they landed right in front of his bow. And that, that was the thing about this game. The aiming system was a little finicky. If you didn't aim in precisely the right place, your shots would miss. Often against destroyers, I would have to utilize a sort of spray and pray tactic, like that. Now in this case, it works out quite favorably. I take out that little Fletcher there. But against these ones, it's... Well, they're much further away. And aiming them just ahead of them is... Doesn't quite work. Now, a few do land on his rear and do actually do some damage. But it would have been a lot more effective had they ended up in the center. That's where the most damage actually gets done. And as we'll see with this salvo, aiming in just the wrong place will mean none of your shots connect. And that Fletcher goes on to live for another day. To fight another day. Whatever. And I correct my aim, but it's just a little too high. And once again, he can continue fighting. And that's the thing about this, uh, this aiming system. If you aimed just a little too high, they'd overshoot. If you aimed a little too low, they'd, they'd land short. Of course, there was a just right, but it was so hard to find it. And often I'd find myself aiming at the waterline, as we're seeing here. And that's where it would really be most effective. In the end, I, I just preferred flying aircraft. And even there, even there, my shots, as well aimed as they were, just did not connect. I'm not even sure if that was me, but even so. But I preferred the aircraft. And don't get me started on the torpedoes. It was practically impossible to aim them. That is, of course, ship-based torpedoes. It was really difficult, and if I ever did use the torpedoes, it would be at an engagement range that was right down their throats. That's how I got torpedoes to work. Even with the, with the aerial torpedoes, I was waiting until the last possible moment to launch the torps. The sequel to Battle Stations Midway, uh, Battle Stations Specific, did sort of change the aiming system. 
you would ha just have to point at the target that you wanted to shoot at and the, the game would automatically correct, it would lead the shots for you. With the added disadvantage in that it would ha have to take a little while to focus the aim and continuous fire would lead to less accurate shooting. But torpedoes were still manually aimed and yeah, even when I'm playing Battle Station Pacific, I I barely use torpedoes unless it's right down their throats because there's no real aim assist. There is no aim assist even for the torpedoes. And really it was just a sort of spray and pray method that I would use. However, to be perfectly honest, I've had the same sort of experience with World of Warships as of late. At, with extreme range firing, I'm often finding myself leading far too much, or maybe just not enough. It's extremely frustrating, especially when this happens. Yes. It looked like it was perfectly aimed, it just wasn't. And because of this relative inability to actually hit the things I'm shooting at, sometimes just hitting one shot out of uh, nine, in the case of this super, super base battleship Yamato, it's been frustrating enough to, that I just have been playing less of World of Warships than I usually would be. And so, well, I decided to find the Aim Assist mod and I gave it a go. Yes, that is it right there. And I can see why it's got so many people riled up. This game in the Alba is one of the best I've actually had. Cons well, considering the fact that I actually managed to hit some things. It's not a guaranteed I win button, but it certainly is something that improves the less than average player, which is exactly what I am. With this mod, I have actually been able to do well for once. I've actually been able to hit in my Fuso, in my Congo. Now, it does suffer with lag issues whenever you experience it, as such that shot at that Fuso just completely missed. And even at close range, it's just not really necessary such as against this Gramyashki. I would probably be able to make these exact same shots if I wasn't using the aim assist mod. Something Sidestrip said in his video, Resist the Assist, is that World of Warships is easy. I have to agree and disagree. Yes, for some people, indeed, it's, the game is easy. The people who have been playing since the Alpha Test, it's easy. But not everyone has been playing for that long. I started playing on the instant this game went into closed beta, but I have still been struggling. Needless to say, countless other people have been struggling. I've had many a game where someone just has said in the chat that they couldn't hit anything because they just couldn't work out 
where to shoot. And that's happened to me plenty of times. Would I have been able to kill that destroyer without the aim assist mod? Maybe. If I'd been playing since Alpha, then yeah, probably. But I haven't been playing since Alpha. I've only been playing since March 12th. So, really, it's... It's... It depends. It depends on the situation. It isn't a guaranteed win. If I remember correctly, this game was actually a loss. But, at the same time... It does give you a, an, an advantage that it, the people who aren't using the mod don't have, because they don't have this mod. So for my own dignity, I'm not going to be uh, distributing the mod link, or at least where I found it. But uh, not, not everyone finds this game easy. Not everyone can just point at, at, the, at the right place and hit the target. For the record, I be do believe Wargaming should implement this into the game, but it should be optional. So if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Maybe it is legalized cheating, but uh, that's, that's just my standing on it. I suck with uh, leading the target, therefore I need help. And if it's got to be in the form of an aim assist mod, then so be it. Sorry. That's just how I am. Now of course I am aware that there are going to be people who will think that there's something wrong with me. Yes, there is something wrong with me. There's also something wrong with you. There's all something wrong with everyone. Because nobody's perfect. And this is done of my failings. My name is Still Guns, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night. <laughs>